what else? We've got American Idol. You're going to judge that. Yeah, a lot of people find it very funny that uh, Katy Perry and Lionel Richie are going to go and sing at the yeah. coronation. <laughs> I would like to say I was never asked to do it. I, I, <gasps> had I been asked, I would have. Karen Carson with Ed Sheeran. Hello. For an Odyssey check-in. And Ed, you have had so much happen. I know. <laughs> in the last... <laughs> what a week. Week or so. I've been thinking about you so much. I, I want you to know that while you were handling the trial here in New York City for the copyright case, um, people, th I, the country is so behind you. People from five years old to 80 years old were talking about you and supporting you and just saying, wow, you know, he's going to quit music. If my 80 year old father told me that. I'm like, Dad, how do you know that? No one believed me as well, but like, uh, Sheeran's are very stubborn. So I probably, well, it's pro frustrating. I, it, it, probably for a little bit, it probably wouldn't have been forever, but I definitely would have been like, I'm good for a bit. Yeah. But, yeah. um, but yeah, it was, um, you never know how the outside world's going to see that because everything in the courtroom is obviously in the courtroom and mm -hmm. you can feel it in there and see reactions of people, but you never know how it's going to be taken on the outside. Cause obviously like press like headlines and sensationalizing mm -hmm. things. And I just didn't know whether going in there it would just all be negative and people would sort of see it for what it wasn't. Um, so I'm really glad it was seen for what it was. It was seen for what it was. And I, I think one of the cool things is, you know, we heard little snippets like Ed's getting up and he's playing chords and he's, you know, on his guitar. I think you actually educated a lot of people when you explained that there's only so many chords in pop music. And I, Well, it's, you know, yeah. that like actual copyright infringement is a thing like i'm i'm not trying to like um you know uh take away from that argument but mm -hmm. i'm saying like what i was being accused of was stealing chords that were in i mean my lawyers found 101 songs prior to let's get it on that had the same chords as it and also let's get it on and thinking out loud are different chords so that that right. that was a thing as well but it's just about the what what do people own? And I feel like chords are part of a songwriter's toolkit. And, you know, it's dangerous to then put limits on that. Well, agreed. And and I see that um, this is a big thing. And, uh, you know, especially your Instagram, where you were just like talking to the camera, like there's too many of these. And it's kind of scary for a lot of artists. And I think this was actually a textbook case. Like people are going to look back and. Yeah, I said that to my, my lawyer, Eileen, um, afterwards. I was like, we were walking out of the court and I was like, you know, people are going to study this in, in law school. What, what, what she did. She was so good. So fantastic. And yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And did, now Taylor Swift's been a lot through a lot with her music as well. Did you guys like chat? Did she give you some kind of help during the whole thing yeah i mean yeah I, we, she literally hit me up yesterday after after it but the um yeah we had like an hour hour and a half talk maybe like two days before i went into it it's just one of these it's 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 just a lot it's a lot and um i'm really glad it's over and behind me i am too yeah. and I, you could see the frustration and everybody was behind you I well just i sort of forgot you know. that i was releasing an album as well i woke up this morning and i was like oh yeah my album came out today. It's like it's been so all encompassing yes. that yes. now I'm at the other side of it. I'm like, oh, whoa, like, okay, I'm doing interviews today. Right. Okay. Okay. Let's go. And we almost talked to you in the middle of the trial. I'm like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> like right before you. Yeah, the yeah. But so there's a lot to celebrate right now. Yeah. And that's, first of all, I just wanted to say before we get to the celebrations, I'm really sorry about your grandma. That, uh, it, uh, honestly, she was 98 years old. She okay. lived an amazing life. She had like loads of grandkids, loads of great grandkids. The only thing that upset me was the I couldn't be with my dad sure. and with my arm around him being there for, for for him and being with my family for that. But um, and, you know, like, yeah, I'm just not going to get that back. And I thought that I would have made it because it was on it was on Wednesday and I thought the trial was going to end on Monday or Tuesday yeah. and I could have yeah. could have made it. But there was just like. I, I, I'm not going to go into it, but there yeah. was a couple of things that happened that m made it drag on. And I was like, I didn't want to go in court and be like, do you know, my grandmother's just died. And I, if you keep wasting time, I'm not going to get to a funeral. I didn't want to say that. So, but I'm yeah. surprised you didn't. <laughs> I'm surprised. No, but I didn't want it to be, yeah, I didn't yeah. want it to feel yeah. like a sympathy play, but right. yeah, but literally first day of court, 
she passed away and oh, I was like oh gosh oh, well, and because we're you know we're Catholic and uh, burials happen very quickly so I just knew it would happen in that time and I was hoping that it would be done quicker well it happened yeah. you made it Thank through you. the week Sorry. and I wanted to just say that because everybody was like really <laughs> on top of this you know yeah. so Let's talk about all the good things right now. You won the copyright trial. You have the release of Subtract today, mm. which is, I feel like we've been waiting forever. Yeah. It, right? it feels it feels weird. The, you know, like the outpouring of connection that fans are having with it. And like, you know, even people that hate my music are like, oh, we actually quite like this. And it's just a weird, it's a weird, it's a, it's a weird shift for me. To actually have people be like, this is really good. Well, it's deeply, deeply personal. I mean, I, you know, you said you've been working on it for 10 years. Um, I just saw the documentary, The Sum of It All. I'm only on the second one mm. about loss. And, oh my gosh, so much happened to you. Um, first of all, is your wife, Cherry, doing well? She's good, yeah, she's good. It's just like, I mean, I'm sure you have people in your life that have been through similar things, but it, it, the good thing about it is it's now just regular checkups and just always, <gasps> like... Yeah. Okay, because you didn't, as of yet, um, say that in the documentary, but... Oh, th there is a point in the documentary. That, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm only in that part, but I'm really, really glad that she is in it. She's the coolest chick ever. Yeah. She has a great laugh, and it's really nice to see that side of the two of you. Yeah, she's fantastic, man. It's uh, It feels weird opening the door on all of that. I'm yeah. hoping that we can just close the door now, but yeah. Okay. That's like a snapshot of our life. Basically. It's really, it's you guys are adorable together. So um, the sum of it all, did it turn out as you expected? It's a four part series and I just, I'm obsessed with it, but I only got to the second one. Uh, no, it didn't turn out as I expected because um, I walked into it thinking I was making a music documentary and I came out of it having made a documentary on like grief and depression and family. And um, yeah, it was, it was weird. It was weird, but I trusted the director. The director basically said, he didn't want me involved, like executive producing, editing, changing narrative. He's just like, let me see what I see and make a documentary on that. And I promise you, you will be happy with the results. So I, I just had to trust him. But, I, but I've known him for a very long time. The guy that made it um, uh, basically used to do all the, the One Direction videos way back in the day when mm -hmm. I was um, writing with them for those first albums. So I've known him for a long time. So I felt, I felt like I could trust him. Yeah, that's a yeah. very vulnerable position to put yourself in. Totally. Yeah. Well, it came out gorgeous, and I feel like you really showed sides of yourself. One of the things I wanted to talk to you about, you know, is losing Jamal. And you talk a lot about grief. Your your album is so beautiful because Eyes Closed and Boats. Thank you. You've got to listen to Boats. It's so good. I Thank love you. that song. Um, did you ever get angry? that people expect you to be okay after something like that no because i think it's normal i think the thing that the thing that i've realized so much in um this whole process is like everyone goes through it and you know every single one of my friends has lost someone close to them uh and life does go on you do have to get up in the morning go to work and it doesn't just it's not like when the queen dies where everything yeah. is paused and news stops and it's it's a really sad part of life um and yeah, grief is something that you learn to build your life around rather than, uh, you know, have it and then sort of like compartmentalize it and, and put it away. I think it's just always there. I just, my, my mom just passed like six months ago and thank you. It was kind of unexpected. And she was, um, the last thing we did was she loved you so much. The last thing we did was just put your music on my phone next to her and it was thank great you. stuff. That's no, amazing. I mean, it's amazing how how music like music frames all of my biggest moments in life. Like not not my own music, but other people's music frames these moments, and mm -hmm. songs can just take you back there. It's like a really powerful thing. You've got the mathematics tour kicking off. Yeah, man. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, right? and uh, it's it all going on. It's Cherry's thirty first birthday tomorrow as well. It's all just oh, happy it's birthday all to happening. her. Yeah. Are the girls going to be on tour with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're okay. like I kind of feel like my life is music and i can either be absent father or we can be all together which is nice are your little girls musical um they're young <laughs> they're very young the kids jam out though it's, yeah yeah they it, like right? you know they like musical but uh they like music but i don't know yet 
we'll see. One of the things that Cherry said in the documentary, the sum of it all, was that um, she was a little nervous about how you would be with another human being when uh, you were first pregnant with Lyra. Mm. And then she's like, he would be a teenage dad if he could. Yeah. And I think that's so sweet. Like, what's one of the best things about being a dad for you? Like, your biggest... Joy. Well, I'm sort of entering into this new stage of fatherhood where I'm like a superhero, which is like, the f you know, it's the first time in my life that anyone's ever just been like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm like, hey, cool. Thanks. <laughs> They're biggest fans. Yeah. Like, like I, w I walk in, the ha you know, I'll be like away for two days and I'll come, I walk in and they'll just like rush up and I'll just be like, this is, this is awesome. <laughs> this yeah. is really cool. I know that ends, by the way. I know at some point it'll be like, Ugh. Uh, I have 18 year olds and they still are like, oh, you're here. So I think it's going to happen. <laughs> what else? We've got American Idol. You're going to judge that. Yeah. A lot of people find it very funny that uh, Katy Perry and Lionel Richie are going to go and sing at the yeah. coronation. <laughs> I would like to say I was never asked to do it. I, I, <gasps> had I been asked, it I would have... It was in the news. Yeah. They said that I turned it down. What I think is someone from the palace looked on my website, saw that I was playing in Dallas on the date and went... Yeah. And, you know, and then the news was... The news basically spun it and said that I turned it down, but I didn't turn it down. Wow! I actually like he gave me my um uh, m member of the British Empire medal. Like I I like him. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. That's cool. Thanks for clearing that up because everybody was like saying nobody was going to play for him. But anyway, have fun with that. You'll be with Alanis. Yeah, I met her at um Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. She was singing with Olivia Rodrigo, so I've met her like really briefly, but she's great. Yeah, I think I'll have fun next yeah. to her. You've got these happening pop up merch shops. New York, L.A., Chicago, Boston, and Dallas. Well memorized. Thank you. I don't you. even know that. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you have one here today. Are you Do have one here today. Swing by? I think so, yeah. I'm not doing anything else. And the album is out, so I've got to go and, like, you know, celebrate. tell people. You know? Right? After hey. the week you've had, yeah. <laughs> you need to celebrate a little bit, right? Yeah. I love during the inter uh, during your the Sum of It All docuseries, you said that you speak stuff into existence. Like... And then your wife, Cherry, said, Ed has no barriers. He just, like, doesn't think that things are impossible. Where do you think that came from? Uh, my dad. My dad said you can achieve anything in life if you work hard for it. And there's been little in my life that, like, if I set a goal and I go, there's no plan B. I'm going to do that. Plan A is going to work. And some of them have taken years and years and years and years to do. But I think if you if you are determined... Like to, tomorrow, if you wanted to be an astronaut, you could, but you would have to do so, you know, you have to learn like seven languages. You have to mm -hmm. do the, the whole physical exam. You have to go and do a degree <laughs> yeah. or doctorate yeah. in, in this, but it is possible. Like it, it, it is possible. It's just really, really difficult to do. But yeah, I just think, I don't know. I've, I've just never really seen barriers. And the worst thing that can happen is it doesn't happen. And you've learned along the way, you know, that's the worst, the worst possible outcome is that you learn something. And that's not bad. No, not, that's not, bad not at, at all. all. Not at all. And I'm not saying like every, like I fail a lot. I think, I think that's the I I important thing to put out there is like, you have to fail to achieve something. You have to, you have to learn when you fail. Like all, everything I've failed in has taught me how to succeed the next time. Wow. So I think it's important. Like social media nowadays is just it's all about the wins. Everyone is, it, everyone's yeah. like, this is not even the journey. It's just like, this is it. And this is it. And you know, uh, it's always success. Whereas I think like failure should be embraced more and spoken about and be proud about it. Be proud that you've like given it a go and it didn't work, but you gave it a go. It's far better doing that than just not doing it. Yeah. Isn't that amazing advice from Ed Sheeran? I love that. Thank you. Thanks for expanding on that. So congratulations. I'm so excited. I'm glad the end of the week is turning out like this. Yeah, me too. <laughs> could have been a different morning. It could have been. And congratulations. <laughs> Finally, Subtract is out. The Mathematics Tour starts tomorrow. Mm. And watch the sum of it all. I'm only halfway through. Obsessed. Congratulations. Thank you. Nice one. Hey, I'm Ed Sheeran for Odyssey. And this is Eyes Closed. I know it's a bad idea But how can I help myself Been inside for most this year And I thought a few drinks they might help It's been a while my dear Dealing with the cards life down I'm still holding back these tears While my friends are somewhere else 
pictured this year a little bit different when it is february a step in the bar it hit me so hard how can it be this heavy every song reminds me you're gone and i feel the lump form in my throat cuz i'm here alone just dancing with my eyes closed cuz everywhere i look i still see you and time is moving so slow and i don't know what else that i can do so i keep dancing with my ay 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 close stay ay 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 oh i keep dancing with my delusion is here again and i think you'll come home soon a word brings me right back in then it's only me that's in this room i guess i could just pretend the colors are more than blue but i lost more than my friend i can't help but missing you i pictured this month a little bit different no one is ever ready and when it unfolds you get in a hole how can it be this heavy everything changes nothing's the same except the truth is now you're gone and life just goes on so i'm dancing with my eyes closed cuz everywhere i look i still see you and time is moving so slow and i don't know what else that i can do so i keep dancing with my Ay 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 it's close to ay 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 oh i keep dancing with my ay 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 it's close to ay 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 oh i keep dancing with my the shutting the bar the cleaning the floor everyone is already home but i'm on my own still dancing with my eyes closed Cuz everywhere I look I still see you and time is moving so slow and I don't know what else that I can do so I keep dancing with my ay 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 it's close to ay 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 oh I keep dancing with my ay 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 it's close to ay 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 Oh I keep dancing with my